What's up guys, this is RGV, another High Definition Broadcast. As you can see, we're here on Unison League, and we are going to be doing the Avceris uh, video, uh, the level 55 uh, one. I don't exactly know what it's called right at this moment, but I'll only go and check. But uh, this is basically just going to tell you uh, how to do the Avceris uh, 55 safely and effectively. There it is, Frozen Path Arcadia. So um, basically, uh, this is this is that video, guys. I wanted to get it to you first, um, and I'm sure you guys have heard a lot, a bunch of uh, stuff about the patch. Uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that patch video later. This is what I want to do first. So let's go ahead and get into it. Without further ado, this is gonna be a, a, a semi-long video. So let's go ahead and start now. First thing you want to do is get your group together in a uh, group chat, and then I'll get together. Uh, first, I want to talk about um, having. One healer is just fine. However, you could take two healers if you needed to. Uh, the DPS on this definitely is uh, is needed, but it, it's actually a pretty healing intensive uh, battle. You can take two healers on this. Uh, we decided to go with one healer on this one. Uh, the DPS, I would recommend two people uh, of the DPS have uh, balancing and you work out who's gonna be the first balance and second balance for the boss and the other two DPS uh, take Purify throughout this uh, game, this match, there's going to be a lot of points in the match where you can Purify. So uh, definitely you want to uh, look out for that. Um, first thing you want to do right here is get your um, get your unison up as fast as you possibly can and then uh, just put up a defensive unison uh, so that you're kind of giving a healer breathing room. Uh, as a soldier, you're going to take a lot of damage, so the healer should be watching out for your soldier. If he is, um, you do have a soldier, uh, you want to go higher into your defense and your uh, high damage. Uh, a lot of these mobs here are going to be defense mobs. You only need about 20 to 30k uh, magic defense to survive here. Um, so you're just going to do more damage as a soldier if you have more defense, obviously, right? Because uh, your dual strike and your um, divine smash are going to go off of your defense and attack. Uh, you definitely want to have a KFC here if you guys can. Uh, a sub substitute for KFC is Azen. Uh, if you do not have Azen or a KFC, you probably want to go with the Benki, uh, which is also going to give you that um, zero damage attack. Um, it's just going to be able to help out the healer. Also, this guy is, is uh, useful as well. Um, you know, any defensive unisons are good in this. Um, right here. Uh, I would suggest having a KFC is the highest priority, then you can go um, Azen, then after Azen you can go that um, the new holy monster that gives you the defense buff that you see there. Um, yeah, and then Valkyries are always good, and then I would say uh, grab two haste. So right now we're just cycling unisons out uh, as usual. Um, cycling unisons is always um, you know important to kind of mitigate the damage of the enemy team as well as getting cooldowns for each attack. Um, one thing that is very important about um, unison is uh, between each unison you want to attack at least one to two times. Um, as you can see a staggering unison does help you out a lot but if you're just putting a unison and then nobody attacks and then another unison you might as well have just put those two unisons together and uh, save some time there. Um, the only time that you do that is if like you're right about to die, like the whole team's about to die right after the unison was already used, and the healer doesn't have any heals still. That's like really the only reason you would do that. But um, most of the time you would be using like say a unison, use one or two attacks, then use unison again. That's like the proper way to stagger um, an opponent. Um, so that's just something that you want to do. At this point, we're kind of giving ourselves time to catch up with uh, cost as well as uh, get some more unison. Like I say, thumbs up at 60 cost, then go slow DPS. So that's pretty much what we're doing here. Um, waiting for everybody's thumbs to be up. Uh, honestly, we we this is one of the like first I think first five or six runs we've done. So this is just like a slow and steady run. You could run this a lot faster if you have um, you just pop haste all the time, and then you you have some really good uh, DPS. You can burst down your uh, the characters uh, really well, as well as uh, your DPS having um, ether exchange. Like I, I would suggest maybe two of your DPS to use ether exchange, uh, not too much more than two, especially if you don't have 
uh, two, uh, one healer. If you have two healers, all three DPS can go uh, ether exchange. But if you have one healer, I wouldn't suggest more than two. Uh, maximum three have ether exchange. Uh, four people having ether exchange, one healer. It's just not going to happen in this. In this, um, what do you call? Uh, in this run, unless your healer's like godlike, but I'm, you know, it had he'd have to put heals on somebody perfectly every time and like the persons wouldn't have to be crit and you'd have to have KSC and probably Azen to, for it to work that way so I mean I just wouldn't suggest it so yeah to uh, ether exchange so there it goes um, we were able to kill off the last mob there and we have a good amount of cost I'm saying go top to bottom just because um, it's a little bit easier for DPS to, to know like hey go top to bottom that means they're um they're, they're always gonna talk to attack the top mob first and then the bottom mob uh second you know second the going from the highest to the lowest that's what usually i just do unless there's a specific mob that needs to get taken out first it's usually pretty easy to, to do it that way um so yeah just look at uh the debuffs and buffs on your characters make sure that you, you guys are getting buffs all, all all the time if your debuffs are going too crazy uh you want to go ahead and hit that purify um, these first three aren't too crazy. I mean, number two, you just wanted to take out the first jelly and then the, um, dino like we did. And then for this one, just take the top two, the, the first top one and then this bottom one, uh, next. And then I think for number four, let me see what we have on number four here. Yeah, you want to go ahead and take out the serpent dragon first because he does a status effect. So you want to go top to bottom here too, that's fine. So the Serpent Dragon is doing a status effect, the Croc Man does a uh, debuff. Excuse me. Oh, it's very early here. Um, does a debuff with his straight swing. So yeah, just kill kill off the Serpent Dragon as fast as you can. Then um, kill off the Crack, the, <laughs> the Crack Man, <laughs> the, the Croc Man, gee. Uh, after that, so yeah, once once you kill off this croc dude, um, I think the next one is, I think the next one is full on crocodiles, but that might be six. So let me check uh, what five is. But basically, we're just um, you know taking the debuffs off ourselves, putting haste up as uh, fast as possible, making sure that the ward is up at all times. Uh, ARS3 AR is in charge of warding. Obviously the Godwin is in charge of healing. I'm in charge of kind of like uh, DPS and tanky. And then Yuki and uh, Starla are just DPS full. I'm saying put up the monster now. Oh yeah, this is a good point to put up the monster. You have to stagger these guys. Uh, if you don't stagger these guys, you will for sure die. Doesn't matter if you have um, the KFC up or not. You have to stagger these guys because they will crit you. And if they crit and um, all three of them attack, oh see like that right there. All three of them attack um, the middle targets. Then say like say all three of them attack middle targets, right? That's effectively three attacks going on three different targets separately. So if one of them crits and then takes off the um, KFC buff, then another one hits all three, then all of the KFC buffs are essentially wiped and then you all die from the second one, right? And then there's another one, that third one that comes up, so if it could just take off a heal as well. So you definitely want to stagger these guys. Very important to stagger these guys. Um, yeah, putting up buffs. Like, as you can see, I stopped uh, using my units in there. I was like, okay, so he put his up. That means that I'm going to put up my next. So I attack once, attack twice, then I instantly wait for unison. I see that someone else has already used it, so I'm stopping again to, to not use it. Because we need to stagger them. We need to make sure that we're getting an effective amount of damage on them, maximizing the damage as well as maximizing the stagger. So there it goes. I'm putting mine up now just because if I don't put it up now it's just going to like um, it's kind of wasted a little bit because there I they have a lot of debuffs on them I take off all the debuffs and the KFC was used if I if I uh, kept my unison right there I would be kind of wasting the damage that he's putting out right now 
If you put some damage on me and I have unison up, I'm not going to get any of that unison gain, right? And this is a good time to bust your unison out because there's only one guy left. However, you don't want to uh, you don't want to hold on this guy because he's debuffing you constantly. Every single attack he these uh, characters use is a debuff. Chain scoop level two. Chain scoop level one is just one debuff, and then ch uh, chain scoop level two is uh, two debuffs. So I'm telling them, hey, DPS this guy. He's debuffing us. We we need to like really just kill this guy as soon as possible. Because look at how much debuffs we have on us right here. I have seven, and ARS has eight. So look at that guys, he just did one attack real quick and ARS already has wiped, has uh, his ward wiped off from just one of these guys. So just think about how deadly three of these guys are, if they crit, if you let their debuff stack and stack and stack, you're just gonna die. So yep, staggering these guys, killing off these guys as fast as possible is the way you wanna go. And uh, for this run we are running a bit behind, pretty late on this, so uh, we, we did like kind of wait a bit too long on the, I think it would have been the jellyfish or something. Right here, you guys need to stagger these guys as well. So right there, um, the beginning of the match, attack the first uh, guy that's on the very top. All of you guys attack him, and then instantly, after the first attack, not the second attack, use one unison. Then all of us attack again, and then now use another unison. That's perfect. This is uh, how you want to do it, because you don't want any of them to get any debuffs off, or straight sh when they hit you with a straight swing, their debuff is going to go on you. So you just want to keep doing this as fast as you possibly can. And then right now, go ahead and uh, buff right there. So I let two attacks get off. I wanted to see if we can get that uh, last guy on top dead before we um, before I buffed. Now we're just going to go again. I just want to make sure that guy finished off. Even though I wasted my cooldown, it's better to know that that guy's going to die than if uh, I swap to the bottom guy and then... Everybody decided to swap to the bottom guy, the, the top guy still lives, it's better to just have him dead. Alright, so there you go again, uh, we're basically just making sure that all of these guys are uh, getting staggered, get that damage off, and then again, using our unison, perfect. Then Godwin didn't use his unison, that's perfect. Then we just, we're just going to go down the line and kill out each of these crocodiles. So there it goes, and then it should be another unison very, very soon here. I'm calling for it, I'm calling for it, I'm saying, hey man, we're not safe yet, trust me, we're not safe yet. Alright, there we go. Putting that up. Just because if those if those two crocodiles do like the abyssal swing, both of them, and they both crit, like, all of us will go down. So, especially like the super squishy archers, like uh, Yuki probably will go down, Sala might go down. But most, it's mostly for archers that have like 20k or less defenses. But I'm just being super cautious on this one. And then I say, I'm saying hold for cost here for the um, crocodile, the last crocodile. Um, so we're just going to be able to kill this uh, second to the last crocodile. And then we're going to be able to hold for some cost here. Especially the uh, haste is going to go off too. Alright, so we're just holding, I called for the X, holding the cost, putting the Christmas. But yeah, um, this is pretty much at this point, we're kind of gearing for the last battle. However, there's one more um, fight we gotta go through before we get to the last battle. So, she's gonna been up all night. Um, so, there it goes. I'm gonna hit, hit that guy chill for a little bit everybody thumbs up when they're 70 and then slow DPS so that's how we do it just slow DPS when they're 70 as you can see that straight swing there does give the negative two defense debuffs it doesn't last too long but it does stack up if say like three or four of those guys were to attack you with that same attack you would be incredibly incredibly vulnerable to um, the abyssal swing or whatever he does um, that that hits everybody uh, where the healer has to use his dignity right so just be careful is it the gator rush yeah no I don't think it's gator rush it might be whatever so the straight swing does uh, do a high amount of damage careful for that and here we go doing damage here alright 
so the the next um, wave here is these guys. Yeah, these guys do confuse. So um, you can do con you can be confused by these dudes. Um, Soldier is pretty useful against um, in this match because he uses, he's using blind on most of the targets. Uh, blind is very very useful um, with the divine smash. So pretty uh, awesome to be able to use uh, blind on these these type of targets that do really really high deep, uh, damage in the 55s. So yeah, and then I do do uh, a lot of like as you can see uh, I'm taking a lot of of the aggro here. Sting goes on me, Abyssal Swing went on me. I'm not the only one attacking the target. I'm definitely not the most highest damage target target, but I do have the highest aggro on him, which is pretty cool that they added that uh, the aggro generation from when the general was created. Um, all right, so yeah, I'm taking those targets. There goes the um, there goes the status effect, and they put actually two status effects up. But that's fine because we put the um, the haste up with that. So that one takes off your status. That one also takes off your status and your debuffs. Also heals you. And then we put a uh, a haste up for that for the boss. All right. So again, this Leviathan needs to be taken out. He cannot be just sitting there, uh, and you, you can't just hold on him. He needs to be full damaged. If he doesn't get full damage, you will risk dying to it. He's really strong, actually. And he does have status effects, so you're going to have to use a bunch of your costs and your unisons to take off the status that he actually is able to um, put on you guys. So it's not effective to actually hold on this mob here. Alright, so Abyssal Swing going out on me. There is the status effect that I was talking about, and I need, I need to uh, put the... Um, this guy up because once the once the status effect is on your healer he can take it off of himself with risk that he's also going to one put his um, status effect cure on cooldown and that he is also not going to be able to uh, effectively cure the status with that because he uses like a confused heal or a confused attack so it's just basically um, pretty it's pretty necessary that I had to actually use that status um, cure there from the Valkyrie. So as you can see, the uh, Absaris does a huge amount of damage. He does a lot of percent damage attacks as well as a huge amount of chunk damage attacks. Um, I had to pop that right there just for the um, simple fact that we were all confused. The fine is getting popped out, as well as the uh, jab, and I'm saying that should probably be the last haste there. Yeah, no more haste. So, so uh, yeah, that was the last haste. Uh, now we're just going to do rotations of um, the KFC and buffs, as well as cleansing and defensive buffs, as well as Lilith as well. So. So just taking off his um, buffs anytime you see he needs to be balanced, you want to balance that. As well as anytime you see like us attacking once or twice, then you want to go down the line and keep on unison. So there it goes. High damage tremor. That is the one that gives you the paralyze. Absolute zero. That's the one that's going to do a huge amount of damage and confuse. So careful for that, guys. I'm going to go ahead and have to use my um, water valve here. So you just want to be careful for those two attacks, as well as the cool cleanse. It's going to give him the buff. So you want to go ahead and balance that off. Then frozen geyser high damage. As you can see the KFC actually saved me right here. ARS should put up another KFC. Perfect. 
and then he is actually able to be balanced off right now so I'm spamming balance right now as you can see I'm saving it look at Yuki and I actually put balancing on, on the same target on the same time so this is a mistake but it's all good we're gonna go ahead and get off the buffs here uh, it looks like we shouldn't be using too many more unis after this I was saying I'm gonna, gonna go ahead and call this is the last uni but since we have two different types of unisons uh, we should go ahead and use them now and then I'm calling last uni we should be able to finish off Avsaris right here alright so this was a very long run um, I'm sure you guys can do it in a faster fashion uh, if you guys kind of like just pop more haste, it should be okay. But uh, yeah, uh, Aquamero, there it goes. Uh, and then if you guys make sure you don't you don't uh, wait for too long, as well as also have some EEs ready. All right, guys. Um, I'm sure you guys can do the run better than that, but that is just a really quick way to you know give you guys an idea how the run is gonna go, an idea how I did the run uh, effectively and safely. Um, pretty quickly as well um, not quickly but <laughs> pretty um, quickly done as in I just did it in where right when it came out so uh, just just doing that real quick I'm sure you guys can uh, get some better strategies on it but definitely tell me in the comments below what you guys thought um, I just wanted to quickly share I did do a run earlier like as you can see there's only four of us on this run five out of eight right here and I think yeah, like around here is somewhere around here. We are. Yeah, okay, so 5 out of 8, right? And this is 8 out of 8. So we went from 5 out of 8 to the last stage with 4 people. This is right when someone died. So you can actually do this with 4 people. Um right here like I was we, we had somebody die at the fifth stage and we went with to the eighth stage all the way with four people so you can do it with four people from the fifth stage all the way and then uh, this is the run that we're actually got upstairs so upstairs is actually able to drop from the chest um, so that's really cool so I'm uh, glad to say that yes I did get Fsaris already and he is able to be dropped from the chest still and we're able to, you're able to do it with four people uh, and get it, the reward in time if you really desperately needed to so that is really really cool um, I think that's it for this one guys um, as always if you guys can go ahead and hit up the comments below tell me what you guys thought about the video tell me what you guys think about um, the next video that uh, I should do as well as uh, tell me what you guys have gotten on the run so far armors and stuff like that uh, as well as you know if you've done any of the class bonds and, sh and uh, all that good stuff so as always thank you guys all for watching and take it easy peace